What's up everybody? Today we're going to be creating a cloud function that moves the next book to be the current book once this timer expires. So let's get into it. We're going to be using a cloud scheduler so the first thing you need to do is upgrade your free plan to pay as you go plan. If you don't do this it won't let you upload your cloud scheduler function. Okay so we need to enable our cloud functions. To do that we do firebase init in the terminal. You'll get a bunch of options saying, do you want to proceed? You just click yes. And then you want to make sure you select the functions one because that's the one we're going to be using only for now. I like to write my functions in JavaScript. Do you want to use ESLint? I always do. And then I have the packages already there. So it's wanting me to overwrite them. All right, so there we go. Once we have that, we should see a folder pop up here called functions. You click in it, you should see index.js. So this is where you will write your cloud functions. We can remove these unnecessary comments and uncomment this. So this is the name of the function that we're gonna have. We're gonna do check for book transition. That's gonna be our function name. There's gonna be a couple more things we need at the top. We need uh, this, thing, this variable called admin. basically giving us administration stuff for Firebase. Then we need to initialize the Firebase app. And then we need a reference to our actual database, which is admin.firestore. So there we go. Now this function is an on request function. That's not what we really need. We need a function called PubSub. This lets you schedule time intervals. And the way you define a time interval in here, we can use crone time like they say here. But Firebase actually lets us do things like this, like every five minutes. So we're just going to copy that and paste it in here. When it comes down to it, we're going to want to do every hour, but for testing it to make sure everything works, let's do every one minute so we can make sure it works before we switch it to an hour. And then once that runs, it will be an asynchronous function. Use your context. And then you can finally write your actual function. So that's just pretty much setting up the scheduler to run every one minute. Now the internals of this function are pretty simple. We're going to have a query. We're going to go to our database, our groups collection. Uh, let me bring this over here so you can see. So our groups collection, we're going to need to query wherever the current book due is less than the current time. Because if the time passed and the current book is already due, then that means we need to switch it. So we need to get a list of all the groups where the current book due is less than or equal to the current time. And then we want to get all those groups. So now we have queried for all the groups where it's time to transition. So then for each of those groups, we'll get a snapshot or each group. And then we can do the logic to actually do the transitions. So the transition is not too bad either. We want to get the database again. I want to update the document. The document name will be in the groups collection. And the actual name will be each group ID because it's the document ID. Then we want to update that with the new information that we have. So the new current book due will be the 
the next book due time. So this current book due will need to be replaced by this next book due. And same with this current book ID needs to be replaced by the next book ID. And then this next book ID needs to be set to waiting because there's no next book ID yet. So here from each group, we get the data and we'll set it to next book due. And we'll do that again for the other three that I mentioned. Current book ID will be next book ID and next book ID will just be set to waiting. So, okay, now let's test this real quick. We need to deploy it. We need to do Firebase deploy to deploy it to our actual cloud functions. All right, now if you now if you pull up our app and get the database right next to it. If we update this current book due time, hopefully everything will work. So right now it's 10:49. Let's update it to 10:50 and a.m. Uh, I just turned 10.50. Alright, we'll, we'll do 10.51. Update. So I guess we have found an error. It's 10.51. If it's under a minute, we'll have a problem. But just for demonstration, let's just we'll fix that error later. See, it's 10.51. Everything switched. And we're waiting for the next pick now. So one thing that didn't happen is this index picking book didn't get updated to the new person. So let's switch that back and make sure we get it right. All right, so for the next index, we need to get the current index, which we'll just get using this. And it will be called the index picking book. Then we'll also have the total members that we need. And we get that by getting the array and getting the length property of it. And we'll need to define the next index. So if the current index is greater than or equal to the total number of members in the group, minus one, because an array starts from zero, but obviously the total members will be from one and on. If you see it, we have two members, but this is index number one, so that's why we need to do minus one. So if it's there, we need to set the next index equal to zero. Otherwise, just increment the current index by one. And then here at the end, we need to set the new index picking book to the next index. All right, so hopefully this will work now. We have index one. That means it'll have to go to zero next and everything should still work otherwise. So current book due, let's set it to 1055. Error, that's fine, we'll fix it later. But in 30 seconds, we should see this update. Nice, we didn't deploy it. Perfect. 
Make sure you do Firebase Deploy again. And there we go. Now the index gets updated too. So you see, it kept going to John Doe, but now it's going to user one, which is me. And I have the option to select the book. So all right, now the last thing we need to make sure this is every one hour instead. And that also means when we have a date for when we're setting it, we need to make sure we don't give a minutes option. So the last thing to fix that little error we saw when the time was less than a minute, we have our time left function. We can do another check. Else if minutes until is equal to zero. Then we will return something like almost there. So now let's try that out. 11.08 AM update almost there. And if we change it to 11.09, we'll see one minute. And all right, so we got everything working. Now it's gonna check every hour whether book club is done. We can actually remove all this minute stuff. We should only need to check every hour then. But we'll do that in the next episode. Anyways, this code's gonna be on GitHub like always. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for watching.